Okay. Welcome back, everybody. It's Leslie again with one of our uh, Barbicide educational series. And today I'm super excited. Uh, we have a true pioneer in barbering. Um, somebody who I wish I had known more about before <laughs> COVID. Um, but because I find him so interesting, I can hardly wait to get to Milwaukee to actually see him in person. So we're going to be interviewing um, G from G's Barbershop in Milwaukee. And G has a great barbershop that we have apparently, I didn't know this, partner, partnered with on a lot of things over the years. Um, but my biggest excitement, I'm going to let G tell you about here in a second. So G, tell me a little bit about like how long you've been a barber, um, what your you know, clientele, what, what that looks like, how many shops you have. Give us a little bit about you. Well, first of all, is G's Clippers. Oh, so uh, see. It's <laughs> not a problem, not a problem at all. It's G's Clippers uh, Barber and Beauty Salon. Okay. And uh, I just celebrated my 25 years in business, June 1st of this year, uh, during COVID. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to celebrate like I had planned to celebrate uh, with the city. Um, so I guess we'll do it for the 26th year next year. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I just went down to one location, um, one location three and a half years ago. Prior to that, I was I had two locations for for some time, twelve years or more. Uh, I have I had thirty two barbers and stylists in two locations. Now, for the past three and a half years, I've had thirty barbers and one stylist in one location. So now I, I'm in a um, in a old bank. This was a bank uh, from the early early thirties, forties, fifties, nineteen thirties, forties, fifties, and and uh, it was vacant for about fifteen years prior to G's Clippers um, uh, getting in about three and a half years ago. It has definitely been a blessing. I have. Uh, like I said, uh, well, actually I actually have 29 barbers and one stylist. So uh, it is the largest barbershop in the uh, state of Wisconsin. It's one of the uh, top three uh, largest barbershops in the Midwest. Um, and it's been, a, it's been a fun ride. Uh, right. I'm, I'm community, community partners with uh, some, some big companies. I'm the first barbershop in the country to uh, uh, partner with a NBA team. So, uh, uh, G's Clippers uh, is an 8,000 square foot facility, and uh, the floor is is looks like the uh, Pfizer Forum floor, which is the arena where the Milwaukee Bucks players play. Um, so the Milwaukee Bucks took care of that, yeah. And um, our workstations are toolboxes, the Milwaukee Tool Toolboxes, um, uh, which is really cool. Very cool. And, uh, I have a yeah, I have a G's Clippers one chair barbershop in the brand new Milwaukee Bucks practice facility. So it's 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 been a it's been a great ride. It's been a great ride. I've been able to uh, meet some amazing people. G's Clippers have been the barber for Milwaukee Bucks players for 20 years out of the 25 years I've been open. Now I don't too much cut many of the players here no more as much as because now it's you know me myself I used to be the barber for a lot of the Milwaukee Bucks players, mm -hmm. Milwaukee Brewers players, uh, a lot of the Packers players, but you know at my at my uh, tender age of uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fifty years old, I, <laughs> I don't too much. I mean it's it's hard chasing after the players like this. So basically I cut a lot of the the executives here, so the president, the vice president, uh, regular clients of mine. Uh, general manager, assistant general manager, uh, awesome. a lot of executives for the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Um, G's Clippers has now over uh, for the past year. We have uh, had our, uh, which is the thing I'm most proud of, is where I'm sitting right now. And this is okay. Indeed. That's what I was gonna say. You look like you are yeah. not in a barber shop. <laughs> this is and this is what the nurse in me absolutely loves. So yeah. tell us where you are right now. <laughs> Yes, so where I am sitting right now is in G's uh, MKE Wellness Clinic. So G's Milwaukee Wellness Clinic, which is the first of its kind in the state of Wisconsin, one of the few in the country where in my barbershop, there's a, a health clinic. And as you can see, actual exam table right here. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is the clinic right here. So as you can see, it literally looks like 
a regular doctor's office, regular doctor's office, and at and in this clinic, <clears throat> what we decided to do, uh, myself along with Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, who is my uh, uh, partner, uh, was we 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 saw there was a need to interview you with reach that between uh clients a lot of clients that does that just does not go to a doctor on a regular basis and the hospital and the doctor rather um so we made the we softened the blow if you will a little with the whole introduction to um the doctor and the client and it's trying to help uh uh the community live healthier and, and be on top of their health so we know african-american men unfortunately are that um that group that uh tend to not uh go to the doctor um as often as they should we are uh leading the uh, country in in uh hypertension deaths um you know strokes heart attacks you know so so what i wanted to do was was to through g's clippers uh, because i have literally hundreds of people coming through these doors daily so I wanted to, uh, meaning the barbershop. Um, so I thought what better way than to, uh, if I could, you know, have a clinic right here in house. So guys can get their blood pressure checked. So they can get their blood sugar level checks. So they can get their blood glucose uh, checks. So we can actually help them find health insurance. Uh, that's another thing that we provide at G's Clippers. Um, uh, an avenue for uh, one to to get health insurance and, um, and 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 other services as well. At G's Clippers, I wanted to pretty much run my barbershop or have a barbershop like I envisioned barbershops were back in the 50s and 60s and even 40s, where we truly were the heartbeat of the community. We sh truly were the the doctor, you know, um, the uh, politician, if you will. Um, where um, where politicians can come and speak to their constituents, um, to, where town hall meetings was held. So that's what G's Clippers is all about. And I'm 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 elated. I'm I'm excited. You know, for the future. I'm excited for what we've been able to do over these years, and um, it's really been a blessing. So I am. I I literally am just. I mean, overwhelmed by what a great idea this was because on all these podcasts and interviews I've done since COVID, um, one of the things I get asked frequently is why do I think, um, with my background, why do I think that um, men of color are really having the worst outcomes with COVID? And one of the things that I've been known to say is that men of color, period, are less likely to go to the doctor, you know, than really most, almost any other group. Um, they only go when they feel sick. And as you've probably yeah. figured out is that most of those underlying illnesses like hypertension and diabetes don't make you feel sick, right? And so if you can figure it out beforehand, your outcomes are better. So you mentioned softening the blow. You already understand that it is hard for oh, yeah. a man to go to the doctor. So yes. how, how many of your clients like in terms of, you know, percentages, do you think are now visiting a doctor because of this ease of access that might not have otherwise seen a doctor? Is it a lot? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, it's been unbelievable. It's almost like these guys were waiting for, for something like this, where they can see a, a medical professional, you know, on their regular everyday um, uh, journey, if you will, you know, to the barbershop, you know, um, these guys, it was a waiting list to come in when this clinic first opened and um, prior to COVID, because we had to close, of course, uh, due to COVID. But uh, it was a waiting list for the medical professionals to see the guys. You know, we're, this clinic is open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays mm -hmm. from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So all day long, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So when I tell you we had to literally start making appointments, uh, when we first did it, we were thinking that it, it, it would just be open and the guys would just come as you know, they could just easily go back there after they uh, finished getting their hair cut or before they got their hair cut. But no, it was a wait. It was a line. You know, it's so, been good um, for you. From a business perspective, it's, been, it's been positive. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. I mean, I'm not even going to say from a business perspective because really I'm not really reaping any benefits from this clinic at all. But 
Cheese Clippers, you know, has been a staple in the community of Milwaukee for some time, 25 years. So we've been doing great in terms of business, but this clinic, on the other hand, my God, I mean, I look at this as a, as a true blessing to the community. The community. Um, these guys are really utilizing it. They are really using it utilizing this clinic i mean it's 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 been amazing you know to uh, uh to you know i have one client in particular he um uh, as of right now we're not doing prostate cancer checks and colon cancer checks uh which we will we had act, by now it was supposed to be implemented but of mm -hmm. course we've been closed because of covid but at any rate i um through my client coming back to the uh clinic here he came to get his blood pressure checked and, and different things of that nature. And she started having conversations about uh, have he had his um, um, prostate exam, uh, colonoscopy and things of that nature. And he hadn't at that time. And this guy is 58, I want to say 59. And he hadn't, which he's like nine years overdue, you right. know, like 50 years old without, right. a without a family history. You know, he was supposed to go at 50. So at any rate, so I talked to him after, you know, he told me the news or whatever. And he went and got a, uh, uh, a prostate exam and come to find out he was in stage two of prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. So through the clinic, you know, we literally were the driving force behind this guy going to get um, uh, his prostate screening from his uh, doctor and, and in turn finding out he had um, prostate cancer and now he had actually maybe three weeks ago, he had the surgery and uh, yeah. So, you know, they, we called it fairly early, you know? Idea. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what, that's what it's all about. That's what we're here for. I mean, that's what the barbershop is here for. We are, we should be the heartbeat of the community. We should be that, that resource, you know, where individuals can, you know, uh, um, get services as such. So that's what the one thing that I hear every time I'm on a call or an interview with the barber community is that desire to be a part of the community that, I mean, more so than any other discipline in the beauty world, barbers, they want that to be the place where community sees themselves. Um, you know, it's the place where I think a man might actually divulge some symptoms that he wouldn't you know maybe say anywhere else he might say it to his barber he might say it around other men um, you know men struggle one of the conversations we've had is that women stay engaged with the healthcare system throughout our life cycles because of some of the female issues that just women have but men don't stay engaged in it and men also have a str bigger struggle having personal relationships that are really that you would share those kinds of things so i think that the model you're taking on is just really a blessing to your community. If somebody else wanted to pursue doing something like this, did you approach Anthem or did they approach you, the insurance company? I think I'm well I am up because they saw the efforts that I was doing. Just so you know, um for I want to say eight years now, I've been doing doing grind. Something is uh, called grind. Grind is an acronym for G's run in a new direction. So it was a five, it's a 5K run walk. You get run it or walk it. Uh, I, I do it every year um, uh, in the month of June. And um, at that run walk, it's a big circle. And um, it takes place in the heart of the city of Milwaukee. And at the, like I said, it was it's a big circle. So at the start and the finish, you know, when individuals come back from the run or walk, there's a lot of tents set up and booths set up, you know, uh, where you have vendors there. You know, um, it could be the Blood Center of Milwaukee has been uh, partners with that. Um, they give information on blood pressure uh, screenings, check, check blood pressure. You have uh, fitness trainers there to give you information on, on uh, fitness and things of that nature. Nutritionists is there, you know, giving food, providing food plans and things of na uh, that nature. Um, just a lot, you know, so Anthem talked, you know, you know, took note of that. Actually, Anthem is not even the only company. Freighter, I'm not sure you're familiar with Freighter, uh, which is a, uh, uh, probably our largest hospital here in Wisconsin. Um, um, they actually was looking at doing a clinic in the, in the, um, a barbershop as well. But at any rate, <clears throat> Anthem came to me first and, um, and we, the, the dialogue was amazing and, um, they, they liked my passion. 
they they, they saw my what I were, what I wanted to do and how I was helping the community already in terms of health, and they thought that they can add to it and and they wanted to see if I had a room in within my barbershop that um, that could uh, be a clinic, and I said you know actually I do this was actually my uh, office of mine. And I, so I know I don't have an office in, <laughs> in my barbershop, okay. but, you know, I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah. Because now it's a clinic, you know, and, it, and, it's, and it, it's, it's perfect. I it think that out. for it, other, if other barbers were trying to do this, one thing to acknowledge is that health insurance companies save money when they keep people healthy, you know. Exactly. And so it's a win-win, right? The person stays healthy. The insurance company yeah. spends less money on illnesses. And for you, it makes you this really developed, full part of the community, not just a place to get your hair cut and socialize, but a place to, you know, be healthy and live your whole life, right? Exactly. And, and, and to answer your previous question, I'm sorry I got sidetracked. How a barber or stylist uh, would go about uh, getting a clinic in there, in there? Uh, barbershop or salon you know first of all identify a location in, within the barbershop if you have a room that can be used as a clinic because you want the privacy there for your clients um, uh, but if you don't have a room or space like uh, such as this that you can use as a clinic what you can do is um, just have your shop or salon be a resource uh, center, you know, have some space available on a countertop or, or, uh, or something and, you know, allow a, a, a hospital or clinic or organization to come and bring pamphlets and informational items there or just be a, or partner with a, um, a local clinic and um, you be a hub or a resource, if you will, or you be the middleman, mm -hmm. you know, to send people to that particular clinic. So there's many ways that we can help. But there's, there's not one shop, I don't care how small you are, <clears throat> you can definitely help the cause. You can definitely stand in the gap. You can definitely be a resource. I, I am so delighted. Uh, if I wanna make sure that if there's anything else you wanna say, you get to say it. Um, but we are excited to post this up um, on our uh, social media, on our website. Next time I'm in Milwaukee, I would love to come and interview you in person and videotape a little bit of, you know, I can't wait yeah. to see that, that basketball right. floor and those Milwaukee. Without a doubt. So, I, get, um, I can walk, I, without a, I can give you a sneak peek of this. Let me give you a sneak peek. Oh, we'd love that. Before we hang up. All right. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> right now it's empty and my cleaner, and my guy that cleans the place, uh, he uh, apparently he was here and left. But as Ooh, you can see, so cool. So as you can yeah. see, I love that ceiling. That is an old bank for sure. Yes, it's an old bank. Wow, so and you don't you have can... a problem with social distancing for sure. <laughs> 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 you can social distance all day long. Not at all. So the uh, televisions. Uh, I don't know. So this is eight thousand square feet, and this is what I was speaking of when I said the, the uh, um, the workstations where you have the toolboxes. Yeah. So eventually, the whole entire shop will be outfitted with the toolbox. As you can see, those are my temporary stations with the lockers and yeah. and countertops. As you can see, that yeah. is really impressive. And, and this is the vault. You know, the bank. Remember, I spoke of the bank. Yeah. The bank vault. So I have actually have operators in the vault uh, as well. So wow. this is the vault, the vault door. Yeah, and this is the uh, wellness clinic. Your logo, yeah. Wow, yeah. I am super impressed. I've been to a lot of barber shops um, in, in this job and this is really impressive. So um, I thank you so much for your time and I look forward to someday coming in and uh, meeting you in person. Without a doubt, likewise, just, just give me a holler. All right. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your week. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.